Hello and welcome to this video. Um, today I'm going to explore and share with you, um, I, I've loved this, uh, I have mentioned about these these cards before, the Creative Whack Pack. And um, the tagline for these is that they give you a whack on the side of the head. And it's it's actually quite, um, It's made. they are made by a guy called Roger Von Oeck. Um, quite a while ago now, I can't remember how long ago these were, but I, I was using these um, back in the nine, uh, no, the early the early 2000s was when I first got hold of these. And they're actually quite good because um, being a fan of cards, as you may or may, may not realise, I've got lots of psychology cards and I've got the... Um, you know, uh, Eric, Erickson, uh, Milton, uh, psychology cards and such like, and various other different ones from uh, a company that was called, and it escapes me right now, but I want salad. That's it, the salad cards. Um, so just very quickly, the, the creative whack pack helps to shift the way that you think about something or it gives you that nudge or that whack that you need in order to get things moving. And they're split up into four, four different um, uh, suits, as it were, which is um, quite interesting. So the suits run, uh, the first sort of 16 cards are the blue cards and they're called the Explorer. And these cards actually um, help you to sort of think about things in a slightly different way. It says, the cards in the Explorer suit highlight places and ways to find new information. So the idea is that these cards help you to um, look at things in a different way or in a way that you hadn't quite thought of. And um, like, for instance, if I pick a sort of a random, you know, a random card here, it, 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 it you know, the title of this card is Dig Deeper. And it says, um, Emily Cartier, uh, nothing is more dangerous than an idea when it's the only one you have. It says, don't stop with the first right answer you find. Dig deeper and look for others. How do you keep a fish from smelling? Cook it as soon as you catch it. Keep a cat around, burn incense, cut its nose off. And then, you know, it like just goes from sort of sensible to ridiculous, but it does get you to start thinking about how to uh, think differently about something, you know, explore different ways of doing the same thing, for instance. Um, and this can be useful because Sometimes we try to, and I'm talking in gen generic, uh, gener generalized terms, is that sometimes we can just be caught up in doing the same thing, you know, and I, I've always been a believer that while something may work a certain way, doesn't always necessarily mean it's the right way or the only way to do something. And I'm sure that you've come across people who, um, especially if you're, you know, being trained to do a job, for instance, or somebody will tell you that the only way you can do something is this way. Or if you're in a, a, a you know a company environment, they say, well, this is the way we do things, and this is the way we want you to do things, which is fine, and there needs to be structure. But sometimes it's not always the the best way, and because humans are different, although in manufacturing, for instance, you know things in order to provide consistency and quality of service etc things have to be done in a certain way but um, you know sometimes when we go through life what may work for one person doesn't necessarily mean it will work for someone else and so that's where these cards come in because they help you to look at something in a different way if we keep repeating the same thing over and over again, sometimes we actually lose sight of the purpose of something or it becomes so repetitive that, you know, we're doing the same thing day in, day out. Do, 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 do. We, we, we travel the same way all the time when we get angry because of traffic or because of, you know, something else. So try a different way. 
you know, try a different way and you may find that you get where you want with a nicer route or there may not be so much traffic um, or it might take you slightly longer but you end up at your destination a bit more relaxed. So, um, you know, it doesn't always necessarily mean in life that just because that's the way you've been taught or that's the way you've done something that that is always the only way to do it. And that's where these cards, uh, this, this suit comes in, the Explorer. The next um, suit of these is the orange cards. Um, these are called the Artist and um, the cards in the Artist suit provide you with idea generating techniques. So artists, if you've ever observed an artist or if you are an artist, you'll probably find that you know, you can come up with ideas, you can come up with ways of doing something, you can come up with different ways of looking at something because your creative process, uh, you know, is, is sort of prompting you to look at something slightly different. And sometimes, um, you know, people in life uh, need a, a, a sort of like push to, to use creativity don't always accept what other people give you and tell you that you know you have to do it a certain way. Um, you 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 can use these particular this particular suite to help bring out the artistic side of something. Um, you know, in your life, in your work, in a, a project that you're doing. Um, and if I just pick a random one here, okay. Um, Okay, so we've got a picture of a woman with a hand over her face and it says, exaggerate. Okay, so if you've got an idea or a project or something, exaggerate. So imagine a joke so funny that you can't stop laughing for a month. Paper stronger than steel. An apple the size of a hotel. A jet engine quieter than a moth beating its wings. A home cooked dinner for 25,000 people. Try exaggerating your idea. Think big. What if it were a thousand times bigger, louder, stronger, faster or brighter? What if the number of people who could use it were increased a thousandfold? Now think small. What if it were only one thousandth as powerful, fast, costly or complicated as before? How can you exaggerate your idea? So it, it, it prompts you to think really different about something. You could be stuck on a project, you could be stuck on an idea, or you could be thinking, you know, how can I make something that I've created better? You know, and this again is just a prompt. So it brings out the artistic side where you could imagine it, you know, in a, in a, in a different environment or a bigger, much bigger than it really is or, or it is right now. Um, and so, you know, again, sort of that whack, that prompt, that whack on the side of the head or the prompt to try and bring out the artistic side of your nature in order to, um, again, look at something different, look at it in a different way, look at it bigger, look at it smaller, look at it, you know, com in, a, in a completely different way. So um, that's, that's you know, quite a good um, suite of this deck as well. And of course, the idea is that you, you use um, the whole deck in order to try and shift whatever it is that you're trying to come through. And this is what I love, you know, working with people. The next um, suite is the green one, which is the judge. Okay, so the cards in the judge suite lend decision making advice. So these cards would then, in a way, what, so what I'm trying to think of is how I've used these cards. I try to get people to think outside of the box, take themselves out in, the, in, in second or third position role, as it were, we call it in psychology, where, you know, you would, you would look at yourself in a situation. You look at yourself wherever it is, whatever it is that you need to look at and judge you know, try and look at it from another person's point of view or from your point of view, but from a different position, 
from a different location. So I'm sitting here at this table and I've got these cards here and I can quite imagine what it would be like standing over maybe where the camera is or, or potentially at the side, you know, standing over here and, and listening to myself talking, listening to myself pick up the cards, you know, how does that look, you know, how do I look in this shirt, for instance? And so you become judgmental about what it is that you're that you want to change. Typically, this is what you want to do with these cards, and a lot of psychology is about what you want to try and change. You understand where you are, understand what it is you're experiencing, what's happening, what's going on for you, and then wanting to change it is what most people want to come to come to therapists for. So random card here beware the unintended <clears throat> and we've got a picture of a guy here looks uh, pretty pretty scared or amazed um, shocked maybe so in preparing for the Olympics the coach of a leading crew team invited a meditation instructor to teach awareness techniques to his crew he hoped that such training would enhance their rowing effectiveness as the crew learned more about meditation, they became more synchronised. There was less resistance and their strokes got smoother. The irony is that they went slower. It turned out that the crew became more interested in being in harmony than in winning. So the question is, what are the unintended consequences, positive or negative, of implementing your idea? So again, this is the, the the judge side of these cards coming out where potentially changing something you may think at the time you know in in let's just say you make a decision about something and in your first position you th position you think well that's a really good idea this is going to work this is going to do x y and z but in the role of the judge where you're either second or third positioning you can look at what the potential consequences are of making that decision, of going down that route, of changing that opportunity or, you know, ch um, making the changes for something. Um, it allows you to look at it in a different way, not sort of where you are currently in your current state, but in a different state, in a different position. So again, quite useful and again, used in conjunction with the other cards, um, help you to give that sort of overall um, uh, whack. <laughs> I like the term, the whack on the side of the head, you know? Sometimes this is what we need. We need a shock in order to move things or to make us aware of something. So the last um, suit is the warrior. <clears throat> so these are the action cards. These are the ones that, um, and, and, and the cards in the warrior suit give you the kick that you need to get your ideas into action. So typically after you've been through the, um, the explorer, the artist and the judge, you're then in a place where you need, maybe need a kick to get the ball rolling, to get things moving, to get things in action. Um, and so this, this particular suite or suit is, um, you know, prompting you to deliver what it is you want to change. You know, it's all very good having the ideas about change and the ideas about doing something, about starting a project and you've looked at it from a different angle and you've made judgments on it and you've thought about it in a different way and you, you're able to explore different ideas about something. And this suit uh, would then prompt you to get it, you know, in, in motion. Once you've made your judgment, once you've made your analysis, once you've altered your creation, uh, what, what is it you need in order to get things moving, you know? So a random card out of these ones, let's pick this one. Okay, so we've got um, a heart with a lion coming out of the middle, and it says, put a lion in your heart, okay? So the, the description of this one is, to fight a bull when you're not scared is nothing, says a well-known bullfighter. And nothing, and not to fight a bull when you are scared is nothing. But to fight a bull when you are scared, that is something. 
What gives you the courage to act on your ideas? Having a well thought plan, encouragement, faith in the idea, past success? Good questions. So then the, the, the last question is, what, put a, what puts a lion in your heart? So what is it that gets you out of bed in the morning? What is it that, you know, you really feel enthusiastic about carrying out this project or, or this change of idea or this, you know, change of belief system? Um, you know, I can think of things like, um, you know, even, even people giving up smoking or people giving up a bad habit, for instance. These things very often don't work because people don't have enough belief in themselves, one, that they can do it, that they've got a purpose to do it, but they've got no driver. There's no action there to do it. If there's no action there to do it, then there isn't the um, incentive to go ahead and stop smoking or to stop cut down on drinking or to, to change a behavior maybe, or to get a project on the road. You know, if you're, if you feel like you're, you're hitting brick walls everywhere and people are being very negative, you may have done all the other things um, and put them together and come up with your plan. But if you haven't got a line in your heart to follow it through, then, you know, it's, it's in a way, it's just not going to happen. And so anyway, I thought I would just share, um, this, I, you know, I'm going to maybe focus on um, some more of these cards. I just thought I would share, you know, how these cards are actually quite useful. You can, you can buy this deck yourself. I mean, I, you know, this is just an am a thing that you can buy on Amazon and, and you can, uh, you know, sort of pull a card out in order to get yourself um, motivated, to get your own creativity flowing, to get your own judgment and, and your own criticism uh, thinking processes going and then finding the passion the lion as it were you know the action that's required to get things moving um, which is quite good and the other the, the other thing that that has been created with this deck is what they called a, a, a whacker reading which is quite good and I might expand on this um, a little bit further so but yeah, this is just really an introduction to the whack pack, the creative whack pack, which um, I like to use with, you know, with, with people when they need something shifting, you know, when they need to think about something differently. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you again in another video.